everyone. So far we have analyzed that acids dissociate to give hydrogen ions whereas bases dissociate to give hydroxide ions. The question we must ask ourselves is that what are the chemical properties of these acids and bases? How do they react with other substances like metals? What are the products formed at the end of a reaction? To understand this, let's perform one activity. Let's set up the apparatus like this. Let's take 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in the boiling tube and add a few pieces of zinc metal to it. What do you observe? We can discern a vigorous reaction takes place and gas evolves. Look carefully. To observe the reaction bubbles here on the surface of zinc metal allow this gas to pass through the soap solution. As we can observe the bubbles start to form as the gas formed passes through the trough containing soap solution. Bring a burning splinter near the gas filled bubbles. Great! We have observed that it has burnt with a pop sound and a little explosion. Amazing, isn't it? Can you guess the name of the gas formed? Yes, hydrogen gas. Only hydrogen gas burns making a pop sound. The balanced chemical equation involved in this reaction can be represented as In this reaction, zinc reacts with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. We have confirmed the presence of hydrogen gas with a pop sound test. The question that is there before us now is that what happens when I repeat the same experiment with different acids and different metals? Will I get the same observation? Let's find out by observing a few reactions. Let's replace the zinc metal with magnesium ribbon. Oh wow! The reaction is taking place. The bubbles of hydrogen gas can be seen. So, we can say that sulfuric acid when reacts with magnesium forms magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. The balanced chemical equation can be presented like this. Let's proceed to the next reaction. Here metal used is aluminium. When hydrochloric acid reacts with aluminium, it gives aluminium chloride along with hydrogen gas. The balanced chemical equation can be presented like this. Observe carefully both the reactions. We discern that in each reaction, hydrogen of the acid has been replaced by a metal. Thus, both the reactions are displacement reactions. Thus, we can conclude that acids react with metals to form metal salt and hydrogen gas. We can write down the general reaction of an acid with metal as Now, is this reaction valid for all the metals? No, that's not the case. Not all metals react with acids. Less reactive and noble metals such as copper, silver, gold do not displace hydrogen from acids. Have you ever asked your mother why does she not keep vinegar or curd in the metal vessels like copper? This is because these foodstuffs are sour and contain acids. So, when an acid reacts with metals, it forms poisonous metal compounds which are unfit for the consumption. That's why people avoid keeping sour food items like vinegar, lemon juice, curd, orange juice in metal vessels. We have seen how hydrogen gas evolves when acids react with metals. What about a base? Can you think of a base reacting with metal? What will be the product formed if zinc metal reacts with sodium hydroxide? When zinc reacts with a base like sodium hydroxide, hydrogen gas along with the metal salt is obtained. 
but to carry out this reaction we need to warm the reaction system the balanced chemical equation can be written as similarly aluminium gives sodium aluminate on reaction with base the balanced chemical equation can be shown like but remember this is so not the case for all other metals most of the other metals do not react with the base we will further explore more chemical properties of acids and bases in our upcoming modules let's summarize the important points that we have learned in this module when a metal reacts with an acid the metal displaces hydrogen atoms from the acid in the form of hydrogen gas and also forms a compound called metal salt the general reaction can be presented like a few reactions of different metals with acids are less reactive and noble metals such as copper silver and gold do not displace hydrogen from acids only a few metals like zinc and aluminium react with bases and form salt and hydrogen gas most of the metals do not react with bases